Good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? So today, I'm going to break a new sketchbook. John C. <laughs> I mean, I'll be breaking in a new sketchbook. Starting it off by painting Billie Eilish. I started off by painting in the base of the skin tone first, and from there I slowly built up the skin, adding warmer tones around the eyes, the nose and the cheeks, and of course, the lips. And then adding darker cool tones around other shadows of the face, which you'll see me do under the neck and under the nose. So this year, Trekkle, the company who I get my brushes from, hosted a 30 day art challenge in March. Each day had a prompt which was a musician, and the challenge invited people to draw that respective musician. They had invited me to be the judge for one of those artist days, and Billie Eilish was on that list. A few weeks later, she revealed her new blonde look, and I was like, that's it, I gotta paint blonde Billie. So I begged them for her day, and here we are. For the background, I wanted to do a dark abstract wash in blue. I figured blue would be the perfect match, not only because it's one of my favourite colours obviously, but also because it would make her blonde hair pop. Plus, it would match and really bring out the colour of her eyes. I masked off the background area, painted in two washes using a steelish blue, and then added some blooms for texture. Around this point, I was thinking, that's way too clean or pretty for Billy's aesthetic. It just needed some sort of oomph. And I know Billy loves spiders, but they scared the shit out of me. So I went for butterflies instead. I decided to paint a bunch of black butterflies forming a crown around her head, thinking it would be a cool nod to her song, You Should See Me In A Crown. It's not quite the same level of coolness as when she had the tarantulas crawling around her face, but I think it worked out and ended up looking pretty dope. But the final finishing touch to billify the piece, or as the French would say, la Paris de restaurant, was adding some black chains, wrapping around her and linking the butterflies. And I think this definitely took it from looking just like a pretty Alice in Wonderland to Billy in Billy Town. To be honest, I had only set out to do a very loose, fun and relaxing sketch. But as I started to work on it, I somehow began to set a bar way too high for myself and put an unnecessary amount of pressure for some reason. I guess in my head I started thinking, oh crap, I'm painting Billie Eilish. If she even looks the slightest bit off, her fans are gonna kill me. And with that, 
both my perfectionism and fear kicked in. So I ended up spending way too long freaking out whether I'd got her gaze, her eyes or her expression right. But I think I got it. Despite the unnecessary pressure I'd somehow set on myself, I really did enjoy making this painting. It turned out way cooler than I expected, so I was pretty proud of the finished result. Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to make more art and I'll see you guys soon.